Hey everybody, Daryl Slater here in Florham Park at the Jets training facility with Connor Hughes. Thursday practice wrapped up, their interviews are in the bag and um, you know a few takeaways from today, let's just uh, go with one of the big picture ones which is something that Todd Bowles addressed a little bit but how short is Ryan Fitzpatrick's leash? Of course Todd Bowles didn't, you know, he's not going to say that directly yeah. but uh, how soon could we see Bryce Petty, could they pull uh, Fitzpatrick on Sunday if he's struggling and put Petty in? It doesn't seem like that would be an approach they'd go with. No, it, it seems that, that barring injury, it's going to be Ryan Fitzpatrick the rest of the way. I think the only way that you could see Fitzpatrick be benched is maybe if it became a situation like Kansas City or maybe it became a situation like Arizona. You know, Kansas City obviously was where Fitz threw the six interceptions. Arizona was a situation where in the fourth quarter the game was just completely out of reach and the offense was anemic. Outside of that, I... Again, you, you kind of have to take what Todd Bull says with a grain of salt because he's not going to be the most honest when talking about how short his leash is. But it seems like they're confident, at least at this point in time, with Ryan Fitzpatrick under center. Uh, Shane Gailey, I think, actually probably had the most telling quote, which was when he said, you know, Bryce hasn't 100, he's close, but he hasn't completely made up for the time that he's lost yet, which, you know, when will that happen? Who knows? But I think it's safe to say that at least this week, it's not like Fitz is on a short leash where after a quarter, after a half, he'll be yanked out for uh, for Petty. Yeah, it seems unlikely. And then the Jets with the bye, and then they play the Patriots. So I uh, can't imagine they'd put uh, Bryce Petty out there in that situation against the Patriots coming out of the bye. But maybe at some point past the bye week, if the Jets continue to lose, I think definitely if they continue to lose, you'll see uh, Bryce Petty as the Jets try to get an evaluation of him for the future once they're mathematically out of the playoff race. We'll be back with you Sunday from MetLife Stadium when the Jets host the Rams.